the head of a California fan pod looks like, well, here you are. I think incredibly fantastic. Here's State Road 60 in traffic. Now we're going to talk about pruning this palm here just a little bit. All right. Got the grew hard at work. Right here in Lake Wells on a beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Thank God for some beautiful weather. Now, number one problem with these palms is people come and they prune too much. I'm about to get on it. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. But we're going to be taking out these pollen and seed stems here. We're we'll taking out fronds below what we call the three to nine o'clock horizontal. Now, you may ask, why don't you prune more so they're higher? Well, that's more wounds to allow more entry points for disease and airborne pathogens, such as Fusarium wilt or Texas Phoenix palm decline. Both affect these trees and others that the arboricultural science community cannot identify. Now, what's all that mean to you? Don't prune too much. If you do, you're more likely to kill this palm. California fan palms are going by the wayside. You might see someone show up, prune some, and leave, and all of a sudden, a customer or a resident or neighbor's trees are dying. Sure enough, they got a problem. Now, nothing's foolproof, but we actually clean our stuff here with Simple Green. It's all organic, all natural. It's not the best for our saws, but it's the best for this tree that we can do. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll turn this back on after I'm done. You see what it looks like beforehand. And uh, talk about the misunderstood concept of uh, how fast it's going to grow back and hurricane pruning and cigar pruning and all that. Yada yada. And here we are with the finished product. Now, truly, if you take the entire span of those fronds, we're actually below a three to nine horizontal. Where the frond emerges from the tree, we could call it a three to nine. But again, the number one goal here is the health of the plant. Now look at all the material we dropped off there. Look down here, we got a mess. A lot of material. Now, We've obviously done a huge part for this guy. We've cleaned him up, looks a ton better. We're talking a difference of just a handful of fronds, and we could take those. Then we increase the likelihood of a disease or airborne pathogen attacking this guy. So why would we want to come in and do a pruning job and then leave the tree in worse shape, the palm in this fact, leave it in worse shape than when we arrived? They'd be looking at five to $600 for removal of this guy and that'd be unnecessary cost if the thing dies. Because then you're looking at fallen fronds and the head falling off and liability. What do we have here? A parking lot. It's a business. All kinds of stuff falling, hitting people. Sue Happy World, no bueno. Not gonna go down well. So the misconception that we need to prune this so much that we leave just a handful of fronds because then we don't have to prune it again, that's entirely not true. The palm's gonna, in fact, try to replace the green that it lost, this here takes in sunlight, it feeds, feeds the head so it can grow. It's a palm, it's a monocot, it just grows from one point, continues. All right, it's gonna try to replace that even faster. So what are you gonna get? Fronds emerging faster that are underdeveloped because now the palm is under stress saying, I need food, I need to grow. This guy is, has no clearance issues. See, we're at the top of Lake Wells here. This isn't very tall, it's probably only about 35 to 40 feet. You can see the others that we pruned so far. We got a few more to go. This same same deal, once a year, whatever you feel like, green fronds, and ultimately your goal here to be an entire globe of green fronds. Now I took some off to appease the customer, make them happy, but we have such a healthy palm, there's no reason to take off any more, so I'll discuss the likelihood of disease entry and why we did what we did, and be another happy customer in the C. Jones Library. All right. Don't let someone over prune your palms. Obviously, if you have a structure, something in the way needs clearance, it's a different story. Normally, people just plant palms too close to stuff, so you got the wrong plant in the wrong place, and you got to deal with that. But um, do what's best for your plants. They're a value. They add value to your property. If you don't like it, just cut it down. Then don't let it attract pests and stuff. That's what's going to happen. This thing gets sick, gets a disease, going to attract bugs. Have a whole new mess on your hand, and what did you serve? What purpose did it serve? You try to save a few bucks and have someone come scout the mess out of it? The whole hurricane pruning, scout pruning, cigar pruning, not going to work on these. Not good. Green fronds are good. Anywhere else, 
uh, arbor culturally, this is accepted and recognized. Here in Polk County, not so much. But that's okay. We're changing things and I'm just here to educate. And a lot of people don't realize you can pay just about pretty much the same price as other companies and get things done right, opposed to wrong. Hurting yourself in the long run, costing more money, and time, and effort. So think twice, check our website, check out the ISA, treesaregood.org. That's where the information comes from. Ain't got nothing to do with what I'm saying. I didn't make it up. Just research and education. All right? Have a great day. Enjoy your Saturday.